folks, come on over. Here we are again at the Hidden Treasures Estate Sales. You know, we usually do pretty good here. Wait till you see this one. Coming up the sloping driveway, they have a big shaded front yard. And let me tell you, this estate sale, I thought it was good in the write-up online but it was even better when I got here. We have a super haul to show. In fact it's so big I got to do it in two parts. But come on over enjoy the viewing of the latest Hidden Treasures estate sale. This is just tools in the front now. Furniture, shelving, bins, baskets, just to get it out of the way so you can get, everybody can get in and out. Patio things, and a ton of clothes. couple of freestanding fountains that could be redone really cute. I'm not sure the style of these plant stands but I think they were originally brass and then 20 a piece and you know this is uh, the last day so everything is 50% off. Heading in through the pay table. <laughs> now typically you go in the front door and then you come and go through the house and come around and pay and the girls get to be in the garage out of the sun. So here we go. This one was loaded. Something for everybody in here, I'm telling you. I find myself saying that more and more, but this one had everything. We have Asian and African pieces, tons of collectibles. They weren't just collecting one or two things. <laughs> you can see, hmm, looks like a Capo de Monte vase. And I love the fish bottle. Depression wear, crystal glass pieces, Revere, and early pieces, and the elephant collection was superb. Paperweights. Russian piece. And remember, this is the third day, so a lot of this is picked over. So if you see a bare shelf, that's why we're at the third day. Now look at this drop leaf table. This is going to make some of you just cringe. $30 today for that drop leaf table. Where are you going to go, guys? I don't know. And here's a couple of oval 
Fruit Bowls with the Festoon by Indiana Glass. The Clear and the slightly smoked glass there. Hute Asian style teapot. So many pieces. Seven fifty today. Blue and white. Good looking piece. There's a terrain. They're usually missing the ladle, but you can always replace them. More blue and white pieces to add to your collection. A two-handled cream soup cup. Now this room they had set up with bigger pieces and furniture. Hello, yeah. Good looking stuff too. Look at this little secretary in an early American finish. Chinese and Asian pieces and I think there's a trick to getting that box. That was really different. Leather armchairs. Nice neutral color. this mirrored and shelf cabinet in the rosewood. And an incredible Chinese chest. Pretty pricey, but remember half today. Nice chest of drawers, side chest, bed stand, all kinds of knickknacks, and little curios. This box I really liked. You can see some of the shelves, like I say, they have been picked. And here's an incredible, unusual, different armoire with the book match wood. That is a different wood. Really good looking sleigh bed. 200 today. Hard to beat. And 
these folks were into country, boy. We got chicken and rooster family galore. <laughs> All kinds of different ones and I've never seen so many. You see the style. There's a rooster teapot. I've never seen one in a cream and sugar. Real good for your farmhouse look. And that looked like a salt and pepper, I'm thinking. But man, not bad today. $12 today. More shelves. <laughs> I really like the antique white one. He's different. His feathers and wings and tail was really different. Really pronounced. I just know somebody out there would want him. And a lot of made up silk flower arrangements. Pretty reasonable today, $10 for all that. Dust it off, rinse it off, let it dry. a few made up arrangements and how about that onlay piece a little bit of coastal and nautical here all kinds of different years and times in this vintage stuff. Oh, I'm really liking that chinoiserie. Blue and white and yellow. And how about the Christmas Goose family? <laughs> The costumes are really good. If you bought one, I'd swear you'd have to buy them all. That would add up. <laughs> How could you leave one? Lots of farmhouse pictures. Here's a decoupage. <laughs> Faux fruit and floral picks. Brass, metal, ceramic. Here's an incredible, unique bottle. 
very shapely indeed. And there's one of my friends today. She was grabbing up what I was wanting to buy. So she was taking it to the garage for me, really helpful. I mean, the stuff was moving out of here. She was busy. There's more than one girl doing it. Typical kitchen gadgets, cookers. And this one got away. <laughs> I wanted this center jar and I turned around and it was gone. Remember the French chefs and cooks. And a really cute tall tray. Look at this tall painted tray. Oh, and wonderful crockery. Yeah, three matching bowls. I thought those were quite nice. Marshall Pottery out of Texas. cooks and chefs, cookie jars, canisters. And I swear I saw this cup mug in the other, <laughs> the other sale. Oh, funny. Real unique chair, I think. With the barley twist sides, I think. With a different seat cover, we would really like this. Huh. Especially today at $34. Real nice. Triple door hutch. everything here, almost everything. Yep. Capo de Monte. First thing I saw when I stepped in the house. <laughs> oh, I guess you know that went. Now we're coming into the last room, and honestly, you guys, this firebox was superb. It was needing a repair. That's why it says as is. The whole bottom was shot. But it was cute. Stamped metal. Beautiful Asian floor vase. So guys, hopefully, you enjoyed our Hidden Treasures Estate Sale today. Give us a like, a share, a comment. Send a buddy over. Check out our stores. 
we go. Great things we pick up and put in our store just for you. Reasonable prices to help us stay right here for you. Take care now. Have fun. And we're going to have two hauls from this sale. That's how good it was. See you soon.